In today's video, I will teach you how to sharpen images in GIMP. Let's get started. Sharpening is a crucial step in image editing, enhancing details, and improving overall image quality. In GIMP, there are two primary methods for sharpening, using the Sharpen tool for selective areas and applying a sharpen filter for the entire image. Here's a comprehensive guide exploring both methods and providing insights into when and how to use each method effectively. The first method is the sharpen tool in GIMP. Find the sharpen tool in the toolbox, often bundled with a blurred tool under the teardrop icon, or simply use the shortcut key Shift U. Now navigate to the tool options. The options include opacity, force, and most importantly, rate. Use a mid-range rate setting and build up the effect gradually for optimal results. The Sharpen tool provides precise control but has limitations. Every click restarts the effect, requiring long strokes. Lack of a mask or guide can lead to inconsistent results as well. The Sharpen tool is ideal for applying a light touch to specific areas like eyelashes or fine details and it works best for small sections, and it's not recommended for broader application. The second method is by sharpening with a GIMP filter. To locate the filter, open the Filters menu, go to Enhance, and select Sharpen or Unsharp Mask. Named after a darkroom technique, the Unsharp Mask digitally enhances negative film copies, and it focuses on controlling three settings, Radius, Amount, and Threshold. And for the settings and effects, radius determines the range around detected edges that receive sharpening. Amount controls the intensity of sharpening applied within the radius. And threshold sets the contrast difference required for edge detection. Now, make sure that you use the preview toggle to compare before and after effects. Split view allows a side-by-side -side comparison but may vary based on image content. You can apply the sharpen filter as the final step in your workflow and it is best used after all other edits and image size requirements to make sure optimal sharpening without the need for repeated adjustments. Mastering image sharpening in GIMP involves understanding the strengths and limitations of both the sharpen tool and the sharpen filter. By incorporating these methods into your workflow and considering the appropriate scenarios for each, you can enhance image details effectively without the risk of over-sharpening. Remember, practice and experimentation will refine your skills in achieving optimal sharpening results. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.